Hey, what's going on, guys? Let's do this problem right here. The question is asking to find the Janssen temperature. So we are going to find the temperature at this location. So let's see how we can find it. So first of all, let's look at the provided information. So here we have hot reservoir and cold reservoir, and that's connected by copper and iron metal. Uh, I mean, small bar right here. And the length of this copper bar is given by 20 centimeter length of the iron bar is given by 80 centimeter and the cross sectional area of this bar is 50 centimeter square and that's going to be equal for both and also we have this conductivity constant for copper that's provided 397 euro per second meter degree celsius and conductivity constant for iron is 80 and let's see how we can find this junction temperature using these informations the thing like the concept we are going to use is the heat transfer rate is going to be equal for both of them so we can equate this both of them and find the junction temperature so let's put the equation for heat transfer rate so heat transfer rate is delta q by delta t that is equal to k a delta t over l so this is the heat transfer rate equation since the heat transfer for both of them is going to be equal we can equate this one like this delta q over delta t1 is going to be equal to delta q over delta t2 so this is going to be the equation we are going to use so let's take the copper information so we have so let's write in terms of copper so copper is going to be k Cu because conductivity constant is different for both of them, right? So K C U and then A area is gonna be same, so we can write just A and delta T is gonna be final minus initial. So here the copper has so this is T, right? That's what we are going to find. So T is final, T minus initial is hundred degrees Celsius. 100. so this is over the length the length of this copper is 20 so we can write 20 centimeter right here and that is equal to this one for the iron so iron have different conductivity constant that's kfp area is same and the final minus initial final is zero minus initial is t starting from t so minus t over the length of this iron is 80 centimeter right so let's simplify this one so let's uh, arrange this equation in terms of t so because because we are trying to find t right here so let's uh, let's multiply this one and see what we get so k u a k c u a t k c u a t minus 100 k c u 100 kcua right over 20 so we can bring the 20 to the other side so that's going to be equal to 100 kfe actually 20 I, I brought 20 to the other side so 20 so let's you know what uh, let's keep it as L and plug the values later. So here I keep it as LCU and LFE. LCU, LFE. So I'm moving LCU to this side. So this is going to be LCU, A, KFE, A, 0 minus T. So what you can do, 0, that, that's not going to give any value. So instead of putting 0, we just can multiply this negative t with everything. So this is going to be just minus and t right here. So k t and we have l f e in the bottom. l f e. So here we are trying to find t. So let's rearrange this equation. So re rearrange this equation. So if I bring this 100 kcu to the other side so this is going to be kcu at 
plus if I bring this one to the other side that's going to be plus L C U K F E A T over L F E and then this hundreds K C U A become plus if we move this one to the other side so this is going to be hundred K C U A right now let's take the T comma right so if we take also before we do this one if you know this we could have cancelled this a already so if the a cancel that's much simpler so this cancel this cancel this cancel this cancel this cancel this cancels so here we, we don't have to worry about a so here we have all the other things so let's put let's uh, take the t common t if you take t common this one we K C U inside plus L C U K F E mm. yeah L C U K F E K C U A T E L L, L F E only in the denominator of first second one right okay f e over l f e command as you k f e over l f e command we have 100 k c u in the other side and uh, let's move these things to the other side now so t is going to be equal to and if we take the l f e command denominator this is going to be multiplied by l f e so here before I transfer let's put this one like this so this is going to be L F E K C U plus L C U K F E over L F E equal to 100 K C U right now let's rearrange this one T is equal to 100 K C U times L F E divided by L F E K C U plus L C U K F E. Now all we have to do is plug the values. 100 K C U is this value 397 and then L F E length of the iron that's 80 centimeter and then divided by LFE KCU that is LFE times KCU LFE is this one 80 centimeter times KCU is going to be KCU is this value 397 397 plus LCU is length of copper that's 20 centimeter times KFE is this conductivity constant of iron that's 80 right and if you notice I kept the centimeter as it is because if you add them that's going to be in terms of centimeter and if you see the numerator also has centimeter so centimeter centimeter cancels so we don't have to worry about changing into meter and if you calculate this value and that's going to give you t is equal to 95.2 degrees celsius and that's going to be the temperature of this junction and that's how we do this kind of problems i hope you guys find this video helpful see you next time